For many years, it's been widely known that you actually use a compact flash card to replace a aging hard drive on any vintage PC or Mac, laptop, or desktop with these adapters that connect to the ID interface as compact flash is based on the ATA protocol. So right here, this is the adapter for 2.5 inch drives and the other one for 3.5 inch drives. And while normally I would just replace the hard drive with this compact flash adapter, that's not really the main focus of this video, even though I will be replacing the hard drive with the adapter eventually. And you can see right there, this is a Macintosh PowerBook 1400 CS. And you can actually look up in the forums and they do say that you can actually boot a compact flash card on a PowerBook straight from a PCMCIA card adapter. So we're going to try this once and for all to see if the claims are true. As you can see right here, I removed the hard drive. Just to show you that there's no hard drive installed currently on this machine. So let's boot it up. And now we wait for the question mark folder to show up. All right, now we connect the adapter. And there we go, Happy Mac. So it does boot a lot faster than it did with the original hard drive. That's one thing for sure. And here we are. Let's go to about this Mac. Or in this case, about this computer since around this OS's release, you had the Macintosh clones. So you can see right there, 64 megabytes of RAM, system software 7.6.1. And sorry for the display flickering as this is, a, this is the CS model. So it has the dual scan display. I do plan on replacing it with the TFT display I have from another machine that I stripped for parts. Right here you can see that the that the icon for the drive is actually pretty much different. Instead of the typical hard drive icon you see something like if it was an external drive which is the case so it basically treats it as an external drive that you can boot out of. And you can just run your typical Macintosh software so let's shut this down. And it's gonna do one extra neat thing when you're done with this machine. So this is a great way to test a vintage power book if you don't know if it has an OS or a hard drive installed using your own adapter and a compact flash card with the OS pre-installed. I tend to use 7.6.1 since it works with a lot of Macs. But you can also use 7.5.5 if applicable.